Hello everyone, and I want to welcome you to Open Heaven's Daily Devotional Review. Today is the 3rd of March, and I hope you started the month of March on a great note. I am trusting the Lord that you shall experience the abundance of God in this month of March in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how you started your month of January and February, God is going to do a brand new thing in your life this month in the name of Jesus. Today we are praying for the church. Close your eyes as we pray together. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to go into your word. Thank you for the privilege to be able to pray, to know the true God. As many that are on the call who are yet to come into the understanding of who you are, we pray as we get into uh, this session, you ask Holy Spirit, you will minister to them and, you know, touch their heart, even to come into the light of, of who you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Today has been dedicated for us to pray for the church. You will agree with me. The devil is waging war against the church. But the word of God stands sure. He said, my church have I built and the gate of hell will not prevail over it. The, our memory verse today is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18. And I want us to read together. And I say unto thee, thou, sh thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Our text is taken from the book of John, chapter 17, verse 9 to 26. It's clear that God's agenda for the church, particularly the redeemed Christian church of God, is one of the church that the Lord has promised that is going to meet when he comes back. But the devil is doing a lot today not to allow people to enjoy of God that is available to us in our church. There are many other places, missionaries on the field, a whole lot of things are going on to discourage them from preaching the word of God. Today is our day to support them. And I'm going to be reading these prayer points out to you. I want you to spend quality time to pray today and trust God for what God is going to do in all our churches. When I say church, somebody is thinking I'm talking about the building. I'm not talking about the building. We are the church. In fact, I carry God inside of me. I'm a church. And you too, you are a part of that. So if you are praying, we are actually praying for ourselves. And I pray the Lord will answer our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our first prayer point says, Father, thank you for the body of Christ in my nation and all over the world. Thank you that the gates of hell cannot prevail over your church. Father, please purify your church. Cleanse us and make us whole. Father, please let there be a new wave of revival by the Holy Spirit in the body of Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. I proclaim that in the name of Jesus. Lord, pour out your Spirit upon us afresh. We need fresh fire, Lord. Father, pour fresh fire upon your church more than ever before, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help the church to do more for you. Help us to win more souls until the entire part of the world is saved. Help us to fill the world with your love and light in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please keep sicknesses and diseases far from every member of the body of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please keep your church united. Everything that is dividing us, we pray against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't allow the enemy to divide us. Please increase your love in our heart as we are united to work for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. Please, Lord, raise righteous people to become leaders in, na in nations and all states all over the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, uproot and expose all false prophets and pastors misleading your people. Let them be disgraced if they do not repent in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us to do your will. Help the elders, the young, the old, and even the children in the body of Christ and all over the world so that we are not neglected in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, help us to follow you wholeheartedly in the name of Jesus. I want you to spend some time just pray and trust the Lord for all of this prayer point that we have raised today that the hand of the Lord will be stretched out towards us. The Spirit of the Lord will endow us. We receive fresh fire for the journey ahead. We ask that the Holy Spirit will walk with us, walk through us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will shine His light bright upon us. We will be the light and the salt to the world indeed in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who are out there misrepresenting who you are, Lord, we ask that you will touch their hearts to come into repentance. If they refuse, Lord, take them away in the mighty name of Jesus. 
pass through your church one more time. Let your fire pass through your church one more time. Bless every life. Bless all our members all over the world in the body of Christ in the mighty name of the We remember those who are in prison, those who are under one yoke of the devil or the other, that you will set them free indeed in the mighty name of Jesus and it shall be well with us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Redeemer, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. I want to encourage you. Continue. Continue, continue to pray for the church. Don't keep quiet until we see the change we desire in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we go today, I want to encourage you. Make sure you also pray for somebody in your family. Remember them in the place of prayer. And the Lord will answer us all in the name of Jesus. God bless you.